the electric company is going to bring me a pole and so it will go the pole is going to be set right here right on the edge of the my uh, tree line here that I have and so unfortunately I'm gonna have to take one tree out and it's a red bud and it makes me sad but I got a whole bunch of them over here so today I get to cut this tree down and get this area cleared because they're gonna set the pole right here so they'll tap off the line here set my pole here with the transformer come down put the meter on it here and then I will go underground right along the uh, easement here and then turn and go in because that is my utility room an hour and a half and here is the work that I've done that was a workout <laughs> the trees have so many vines in there you think you have it cut and you start pulling on it no no it's like velcro but uh, I tell you what I need to show you guys and this is not a product placement at all uh, it's just an amazing product I bought this at Harbor Freight. This is the Atlas electric chainsaw. It has a brushless motor and it is a 80 volt lithium ion battery. And this thing is more powerful than a 42 cc Husqvarna. This thing is the most powerful chainsaw that I have ever used. I cut that guy down and that is probably 20 inches because the blade was buried. I had to actually walk it around to cut all of it and it probably cut that in probably just a little over a minute. And I have cut for an hour and a half and you can check how much battery power you have. And let's push the button. And I've used one bar. I don't know if you can see it. Let's try that again. If you can see it in there, that, but that's one. Oh, there it goes, one bar. So, I still have three quarters of a battery left. This thing will probably last two to three hours. And I mean, I was really cutting some heavy stuff uh, in consistent start and stop and start and stop. But if you're in the market for a chainsaw and you don't want to worry about gasoline, I would strongly suggest these electric ones. I just chose Harbor Freight because of the price point and the power and the combo. I'm going to take you guys over here because our co-op, electrical co-op, has showed up and we are getting ready to set a pole. I'll go over what's called the meter loop, what was needed on my part for them to hook up so that I'll have power to the house. So let's go over and meet these guys and uh, we'll talk with them. Morning guys, how are you doing today? Yeah, yes, so, can you walk us through what you are working on right now? Well, we're going to ground the pole and put all of our hardware on it. And then we'll start digging the hole to set it. And yeah. After that, we'll run our wire from here. And we'll make everything energized. Excellent. So, our, um, the transformer, will we use that transformer or will we set another one for me? Um, we're, you're going to have your own transformer over here. Okay, yes, wonderful. Sir. All right, well, I will get out of your guys' way and uh, watch you guys do what you do best. All right. All right, thank you so much. Let's go over some basics on the electrical primary coming to the house. So I am going to have a 200 amp panel, primary panel. That will be right down there. And so we're going to have two hots and a neutral. So... Down here you can see we're going to have two hots, this one and this one. And this one right here that has the white line on it is going to be the neutral. So what will come off of the transformer will be these two pieces. And then this piece will be more like a, like a ground, if you will. So 
uh, let's go on down to the other end. Down here, I wish I had the box open and I could show you. So the pieces terminate right in here. And this is where the meter goes. And you can see one wire hooks in right there. And that other wire hooks in right there. And those are my two hots. And then the grounding one will be way back in there. Let's see if I can get my camera in there. Let's see if I can show it to you. You can just kind of see the edge of it right there, but you can see this bar that goes down And that's where that one's separate and that's what the grounding comes from. Okay, so It'll come in from the pole here. This is where the meter sets in and it meters how much electricity we have It goes out there And it goes into My 200 amp breaker Which is that now for right now? We're coming out of that with two 20 amp outlets. These two circuits here, they're going to go to these two outlets right here. And these are called duplex outlets. These are GFI. So that in the event we have some water, something happens, they cut a cord, boom, pops them right here. And the circuit pops right there. You don't have any problems. You've got to stay super safe. So that is it in a nutshell. Now, the main 200 amp power that's going to be coming off is going to come out right here, right there, and it'll go down and into the ground, and it'll come into into the house. So I will do a little bit of time lapse, maybe, and let you guys see what happens over here for them building. Back here, it's about to get in their way. Look at that. And just like that, you got a hole in the ground, huh? Yes, sir. That is wonderful. Okay, so how deep do we have to go for this pole? Six foot, 40 foot pole. Six feet down, okay. All right. The grounding for the transformer and the pole We'll come down this guy right here. And you can see it goes on down there. And then where it terminates will actually be at the bottom of the pole right there. guys now have set the meter loop and the transformer so they'll finish up connecting the pieces here and the ground wire and all that jazz that goes on in there and then the last part will be we'll pull the wires across make the connection there make that connection to the transformer and then we'll stick in the meter and be ready to go.